Public backlash and pressure from the University of Texas killed a proposed game on campus last week dubbed Catch an Illegal Immigrant. Members of the Young Conservatives of Texas planned to wear signs that said illegal immigrant and offer a reward to students who caught them. However, before the day of the event came around, the group called it off. School officials said it was seen as a violation of the university's honor code and there would be retaliation. Members of the group are saying the object of the game was to spark deba debate over immigration reform. Now, even without the game being played, just the idea of it met the group's objective, and certainly people all over the country are talking about immigration policies. These students were mainly focused on parts of Texas law that allow illegal immigrants to qualify for state tuition, but the conversation does not stop there. It goes far deeper than that. Joining us live in the newsroom now is Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico, Fox 26 news analyst Mustafa Tamiz, and public policy analyst Jackie Bally. All right, guys, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this one. You know, this is uh, one of those things that starts off on a college level, and I can just see these kids sitting around a room saying, this will be a lot of fun, and uh, not realizing that they're going to almost get kicked out of school over it. Uh, and I, I can promise you now that I know that uh, the university considered it an honor code violation if they went forward with this. That's what caused them to stop, uh, stop this game because uh, they don't want to get kicked out of school over it. Uh, if truly, if their, if their idea behind this game was to spark a further discussion of immigration policy and immigration reform, well, it worked. Uh, I'm not sure, Jackie Bally, if that was it. Uh, is this just good college fun or is this a, a, a gross racist act? I think it's probably a little combination of, of the two. I, I will start off by saying the Young Conservative of Texas is probably one of the largest conservative groups we have in the state, and they've done a lot of good work for candidates in the past. I do believe not this, this. I do believe <laughs> this particular instance, it's it's. Um, an exercise that's gone too far. And thank goodness their leader, who, by the way, we were talking about is Hispanic. Right. And the gentleman who wanted to implement this plan, he's Hispanic. So I do think the leadership decided to take this idea a little too far. But the, usually this group has done good, solid work for conservatives. And I think what you said is absolutely correct because now we're talking about immigration at, at a level that we weren't talking before. So is, is, was this their plan to get us to uh, get uh, people all over the country to be talking about this? It, it, it's unbelievable that you want to cause a debate about immigration by saying something very racist. I mean, that's just a, uh, un unbelievable to me. Look, uh, the whole aspect of compassionate conservative, the compassion doesn't, doesn't seem to exist in the new conservative party that we have in the United States, especially with these young Texas conservatives. So I, I, I just want to... It's not, what bothers me is that we're talking about the, the kind of like the, the morality clause or what, what the university would do. What is the goal of this organization? Is it to foster racism? Because that's what they were doing. You know, it, it, you, you're going to hear this. We were talking about it off the air. You're going to hear this a lot, that uh, these two people that sponsored this are Hispanic. So how can that be racist? Well, I, I think it says a lot about what others around them make them feel like they need to do in order to fit in. And that's really what I, what I feel. Yeah. I, I disagree with that. I think a lot of uh, conservative Hispanics, they truly have the same feelings about immigration. But let's look at Ted Cruz as, mm -hmm. as he does. They feel that, look, I came here legally. There should be a pathway to legalization, but not an immediate pathway to citizenship. If there is, yeah, if that, but that's a, we don't have time for that, Ms. Dahmer. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, they, they do. do. They do. I, mean, <laughs> I want to go to Tom <laughs> Lee. <laughs> She's monitoring yeah. our social media. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have something to say about this one. And Marsha Kushner on my Facebook page says this so-called tasteless game, she calls it a very tasteless game, sponsored by a group of tasteless students, in her words. She says it's deplorable, in her opinion. It's mindless and shows the evil mentality of those involved. She says she finds it insulting and disgusting. So is this something evil to do, you guys? You know, I... We got to remember this is on a university level, and uh, and and what we if, if there's ever a place that we're going to have debates and, and and topics, I think it ought to start at the university. We ought to have these difficult discuss, discussions at universities, and so we we've got people, young people, expanding their minds and thinking. 
So is this over the top? I mean, or, or is this something that, that it did cause a huge debate at, at the University of Texas all the way to the chancellor's there's office? There's lots of ways to cause a debate. Usually what that means is you get people in the room and you start a conversation, not you begin a racist game. But I want to talk about this issue with Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz's father came across the ocean into the United States. If it was illegal for him to come to the United States, he still would escape Cuba try to come to the United States. It's, it's bogus for me for them to say that he came to the United States knowing that it was legal so he could swim across the ocean. He came to basically because he was seeking he was, asylum from persecution. He wanted to be free. Okay, so and he did. I, I'm glad he got his Ted Cruz issues out. But to answer your question specifically, I do think, yes, I think they wanted to generate a, a serious discussion. This group is known to have a lot of pol public policy forums in a level that you don't usually see at the college, at the college level or college age. And I do think, unfortunately, this game was taking maybe, a little bit too maybe far. Maybe next time they want to start a debate, they'll invite somebody in for, for a speech, Domily, <laughs> and it won't cause as much uproar. Yeah, so call let's, me. Hope, let's hope the next time they cause a debate and not an uproar. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to your next topic, guys. Thanks right. so much.